Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is gonna be super fun and I think you're gonna love it. We are planting up the 14 True Drop self-watering containers along our fence line. And there they all are, all cleaned up and ready to roll. So this is actually our third year planting them up. The first year we did the above and beyond recipe, which is Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum, Vista Fuchsia, Vista Silverberry. They did amazing out here. And then last year we did Super Tunia Bordeaux, Limoncello, and Royal Velvet. And I loved that because I personally love a mix of purple with that soft yellow. And then this year it's gonna be wild because we are, Aaron and I are gonna have a little planting competition. We split the pots in half. I'm gonna be planting seven, he's gonna be planting seven. And until today, we didn't know what each other had planned for our pots. So how are you feeling about it, Aaron? I think I'm gonna win. <laughs> so this is our little work area right here. I just wanna give you a quick tour. These little groupings are my arrangements right here. And you can see kind of how I plan things out on paper. I'm such a paper and pen sort of girl. I do a little schematic with my little key and I kind of decided what I wanted to do for each pot so they didn't look all the same. Like one's pink and purple. One I call tropical, which is that one right there. And look, you guys, I'm actually using red. Are you surprised? You know, I'm not using hardly any red. It, I'm not, I don't have any red. Which is super surprising that to me. That doesn't make any sense because I love red. When we decided to do this competition, I actually tried to up my game a little bit because I tend to, you guys know, go for lighter colors and a lot of purple, a lot of pink. So I thought, you know what, Aaron's gonna come in with all of these bright hot colors and red and yellows and orange, and mine are just gonna look like kind of like the same that I'd normally do. So I'm actually using red and you're not. It's crazy. I also tend to be a uh, over planter in containers. So I'm noticing that I think I might be putting a little bit more like a little more plants in each container, which will be interesting because we'll see how they grow. Like we'll see if it was necessary based on how Aaron's do versus mine. So there's one pot ready to go. We've got some potting soil. In fact, we've got a whole truckload full of potting soil ready to roll. So I think I'm gonna start things off with the first container. I'm gonna add in some slow release fertilizer first. And for this size of container, I need eight tablespoons. Mercy. Seems eight. like a lot. It does. One two, eight. Okay. Good thing I brought over two of these. Just work that into the top. So I'm going to use three cannas. Three of them. Yeah. And I noticed that you have just one canna for your pot that you're using a canna in. Do we have more? We, yes. But okay. So here's the deal. These cannas, they grow quite tall. So 30 to 48 inches but their spacing is 18 inches, which, you know, by the end of summer, it might be big enough to fill this pot, but I just can't imagine. I can't, I can't do that. Maybe I'll do one and you do three. We'll see what happens. I think that's a good plan. So I'm just going to, um, ooh, look at that. That is a good looking root system. I'm just going to kind of split these apart, kind of spread them in thirds as close as possible, which I'm the worst at doing. I like the foliage on this one though. This one is called a Toucan Scarlet Canna and it has really pretty, um, it has red blooms on it and it has pretty foliage. I love the dark color of foliage. Super, Superbina, Superbina, Scarlet Star. I'm gonna do three of these. This is Laura's Glorious Out of Your Comfort Zone by a Million Miles container arrangement. And then Super Tunia Honey. Okay. It's like a sunset color to me. I think this might be my most, maybe my most filled arrangement. Okay, so this is Super Bell's Tangerine Punch. Okay, okay. container number one done. So your turn. Okay. okay. So we've got our pot wheels out here. And what we're gonna do is put a pot on every other fence post. So Aaron's gonna take my arrangement all the way down to the end and then we'll start working our way forward. So I'm gonna grab another pot. The wonderful thing about these True Drop containers is that they are lightweight. My first time ever potting a pot. Is this weird? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so eight tablespoons? Yeah. Or scoops? I really like the Alyssa. Okay, so let's start with magenta. Super Tunia Royal Magenta. I've got three different types of plants, so nine total. So what? Do, there's no Whoa. centerpiece. So how do I arrange this? I didn't even really think about it. What? Uh, you know, if I were you, I'd probably just set them in their cans on top of the soil, and then and you can kind of like, yeah. No, I have four of a broken each. Branch. Okay. Second plant is blushing princess. Super pretty. Lobularia, alyssum. Yeah. Whoa, that seems like too much. That's a lot. Yeah. You do you. <laughs> 
This is no, a competition. Because this is that's going against my belief system, which is that less plants will look better later on. That's what I'm going with. So I'm gonna take one of these out, one of the magentas out. Okay. And we're just gonna do nine plants. Hold on. Just just give me a give me a moment. <laughs> Give me a moment to think. <laughs> Ab abort still mission. Not, abort mission. Not. Oh, that's funny. Okay. It's, Is that equal? Hold on. That's right. That's right. No, it's not. No. There I like this one. I really like the alyssum. Is that weird? No. That's Let's pretty. just try it. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Okay. Let's plant. I'll plant. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be really boring and probably very frustrating for you. Oh, this is so much harder than it looks like on camera. Oh my gosh. I, did I dig that deep enough? Try doing it from behind. Like when you have an arrangement, like the secular arrangements we do, where you're building from the front back. Yeah. You can't see it. Those are tough. First time ever, like putting a plant in dirt, right? I like, have you ever planted anything in the landscape? I don't ever remember planting. Like, I've planted trees, like I put trees in the ground or whatever, but... It's a little bit different. I've never put an annual that I can remember anyway into a pot. This is a fun day, banner day. These are just all gonna die. Every single they're, one of them is just gonna die. They're not gonna die. It'll probably be the most glorious pot we have on our property. I like the colors a lot of this one. I all really right, like it. So the inspiration behind not having a centerpiece is that in when we went to Michigan, I think it was at Four Star Greenhouse, I noticed that a lot of their containers didn't have centerpieces. And I really liked how they just made a mound, mm -hmm. but there was nothing to distract you in the center. Oh. It was just, you know, yeah. pretty. So anyway, that's why I went with no centerpiece on this one. So. Well, I like it. It looks really pretty today. Yeah, okay, let's get it inspired. <laughs> For my next container, I wanted to do pink and purple. So these are the types of plants I'm gonna be using. I've got Super Tunia Royal Velvet, Super Tunia Mini Rose Veined, and a Super Bina Large Lilac Blue. And then for my centerpiece, this is Delightful Lively Lavender Dahlia. So I think it's gonna be a really- It's a really pretty flower. I know. I think I'm gonna do three of these in the center as well. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just one looks too sad in this size of container. So in the spirit of saving time, I think I'm just going to plant this all up. Does this have a name? Uh, no, I'm gonna come up with some names though. Okay. But this is my pink and purple. So how many of each plant? Three, three of each and then three so of 12 each of plants? Three of these and three of that. So 12 plants? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Man, that looks really nice. I think that's super pretty. I In really like In my opinion, like this yeah, dahlia. I think that this is super pretty. Now, I don't, you don't use a lot of dahlias, right? Well, I, I planted you... the Mystic Illusion around in the brick area, remember? Yeah. And those had bright yellow blooms, but I like this one actually, I think. Better. Is this new or something? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I could have, yeah. I could have been planting this used, the whole time. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't used that before. I know. And then I've got another one called Crushed Crimson. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Done. So he's down there placing a pot right now, and I don't know if he is loving his life doing all this planting but I'm having a great time. It's so fun to see him kind of try to apply what he's learned over the last five years of making gardening videos and like, I don't know, putting him to the test today. I'm feeling a little inadequate about this one. <laughs> I, okay. This is an interesting okay, one. Okay, so I saw an image of the Toucan Scarlet, which is this, uh, in a pot all by itself. Although looking at the image now, it's a pretty small <laughs> container. <laughs> So maybe this is going to be really stupid, but I was thinking, <laughs> oh, I feel so stupid right now. So yeah. this, this in the center and then only lemon coral sedum now surrounding you, it. You, I like all the, around that. I think that the foliage contrast is really pretty. You do have the option of putting more than one of these. Do you want to just do one or do you want to do three? You know what? Again, I started off thinking that one will look better later on. It might look oh, okay. really silly right. now. But I have this philosophy that if you plant, because these will get huge. And so I think that if you just do one, it will look better at the end of the season. You might be right. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm happy to be wrong. And then we'll That's see what happens. That's a good experiment. Okay. So the lemon coral is just going to go around the edge. Okay. Well, we'll see how this looks. Get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put that one on the end? <laughs> It's kind of fun to do like really random stuff. Yeah. Well, it's fun for me because I don't have to get blamed if it doesn't, <laughs> if yeah. it doesn't work, it's Aaron's fault. So I'm excited about this next one. It's like all pastel colors. Okay. I'm going to be using again, three for my centerpiece. This is, oh, this is a play in the blue salvia. Well, let me see. Spread 14 inches. Yeah. I want it to be like, I want it to be like, mm, in the end. I want sure. it to be like this big old display piece. So play in the blue salvia is one of my 
favorite annuals like ever. I love the salvia. It attracts pollinators like crazy. And then around the edge, I'm gonna put Supertunia Bermuda Beach, which I love the corally kind of hue that this one has. Supertunia Limoncello, and then this White Knight Alyssum. That's already big. I know, it's got huge. Got some growth on it. Ooh, and I got three of these. All right, so that one's all done. I think it looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's actually really pretty. I love that. Well, it helps when the plants are like yeah. this big to start. Okay, next one. So for my next container, I am going to use a perennial Nephophia. I like that. This is a Pyromania Orange Blaze. It's already got a bloom. Yeah, it looks good. This is actually my favorite one I saw sitting over there in all of your arrangements. And then I'm also going to use a Superbell's Tangerine Punch. I've got four of those. I think I might need to pare this down to three of each. <laughs> I thought I was an over planter. Mm, maybe not. Um, I've got a Supertunia Honey. And then for my last plant, I have a Sweet Caroline Sweetheart Red Sweet Potato Vine. Nice. So this is my trailer. Next year, I just need to pick out the combinations and you plant them. <laughs> That's what we're doing this year. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got three of the Tangerine Punch, three of the Supertunia Honey, one of the Potato Vines and one one Nephophia. Nephophia centerpiece. Like it. Okay, for this next container, I'm gonna get a little fancy with my centerpiece and I'm gonna use this topiary form, which you got a little bit out of shape about when well, you saw me bring it out. I didn't know that we were I, allowed to use topiaries. There were no rules, remember? No, there weren't any rules. <laughs> there weren't any rules. So I'm actually using, I had a couple of these that I wasn't using anywhere else. So I decided to grow this lemon appeal, Thumbergia, uh, Black Eyed Susan Vine, up the, the um, topiary form. And then around the outside, I'm doing Luscious Berry Blend Lantana. I really like this. I know. It's That's beautiful. a cool look. And this is a pollinator attractor like crazy. Um, Super Tonya Royal Magenta and Super Bell's Great Punch. I think this is going to be just a really bright display. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. And can you tell me if that is in the center? I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so I'm going to nest that down in there real well. And this one vine will take over this, like you won't be able to see this topiary form for very long. So you wouldn't really need to use anything fancy. Like you could go cut yourself some branches out of the garden, stick like six branches in there, tie them together at the top, plant one of these, and you have yourself a free topiary, topiary. form. That is a really pretty container. I don't think I overplanted this one either. I don't know. All right, for my next container, I will be using Prince Tut as my centerpiece. Are you just using one or No, three? I'm gonna actually do three on Are this you? one. If this was a King Tut, I would probably just use yeah. one. Um, but for Prince Tut, I'm gonna do three. And then I'm gonna do Bordeaux. I've got four of these, uh -huh. um, which maybe is overkill, I don't know. And then uh, three of the Sweet Caroline Light Green Sweet Potato Vine. It's pretty mixed. And I got this from the recipe search. I just liked the look of it, mm -hmm. so. I think it'll be a pretty look. That's what I did. That looks pretty. This, I, I think like this that. will be a good one. Yeah, this that's will a really pretty one. This will definitely look nice. Yep. This next one, I'm gonna use a toucan yellow in the center, or three rather. Three of, <laughs> three of these. One sweet Caroline light green potato vine, uh, lemon slice super bells, diamond frost euphorbia, and white out super bina. I think this is just gonna look really cheerful and happy. How many total plants? Do I, do I have to disclose? I kinda wanna know. Uh, let's see, so three, three, six, nine, 12, 13. 13 plants. 13 plants, here we go. The diamond frost is only to be like a little accent plant. It's not gonna take up an enormous amount of space. If I were to plant like diamond mountain or something, then I'd have to designate a whole lot more space for it. That one is done. Okay, okay so for this one, I am doing angel face cascade blue. There's no centerpiece, by the way. I've never this. planted this one before, but I think- Neither this have will I. Be, this will, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is short, so six to 15 inches tall. So this is already like a planned, uh, actually the photo shows a hanging basket. Oh. Which I don't mind, I like, like I said, yeah. things that don't have centerpieces. So uh, Angel Face Cascade Blue, then there's Superbina Stormburst, and then uh, Supertunia Levy Dovey. I like that a lot. Yeah, since there's it's no pretty... centerpiece, there's four of each, so 12 plants. Is that too much? I just put 13 in mine. All right, let's do 12. If you um, place them, I can help you plant them. Okay. I like the blend of color a lot, even without a centerpiece. Okay. okay, is this good? That looks great. All right, here we go. Lots of interesting looking grass. This is a uh, skyrocket penicetum. So I think this is the only grass we're using. Yeah. Doesn't that get 
darker or nope. what does that do later? No, it gets like big, but it, and it gets some plumes on the top, but it's green with a white stripe on it, like a white margin. So I think that'll be pretty, and it, it is. I mean, you use the um, Nefofia, which has the grassy texture, but this is the only true grass. Then I've got Super Tinea Limoncello, Super Bells, Tropical Sunrise, Super Beta Peachy, Royal Peachy Keen, and then Goldilocks Creeping Jenny right here for my foliage accent down below. And I just wanted this one to be light colored and like more on the peachy pink side of things. Cool. There we go. So how many of each did you do? Three? Three of each. So there's uh, 12, 13 plants in this one. Nice. Yeah. But none of these are as vigorous as Super Tunia's, so I think we'll be all right. Cool. So for my last full sun container, um, I want to do just three separate plants. Uh, pure white butterfly, Marguerite Daisy, which doesn't have any blooms yet, but it'll be white. Well, it'll be a daisy. Yeah, it'll be pretty. <laughs> and this one, right, doesn't need deadheading. No, deadheading not necessary. I kind of want it to look like the photo too. So I'm going to put three daisies here. I'm going to do three super bells. This is just super bells yellow. So I'm going to do three right here. And then I've got a sweet potato vine, which is sweet Caroline bewitched green with envy. And I it might be overkill, but I kind of want to put three of those on this side. You know, my goal is just to try to match the image as much as possible. And this one, usually sweet potato vines get super big, but this one doesn't get very big. So I think three is good. Okay, we'll see. I'm not even saying that to win the competition either. <laughs> You're trying to sabotage me? No. <laughs> sabotage. Sabotage. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm really interested to see how this one of Aaron's grows in with the three marguerite daisies and the three super bells and the three potato vine. This is a fun part about the competition because I would have never really thought to do it like this. Okay, so the last two containers we have actually fall under the canopy of the tree we're sitting under currently. Um, the one I'm doing is kind of in part sun, part shade. And then the last one Aaron's gonna plant is pretty much in shade all day long. Um, so these will be a little different. It's kind of fun to be able to use some shade plants in here. Um, so in the center, I'm gonna use another topiary form. <laughs> and and a brother, uh, Stefan, Stephen, Stefan, brother Stefan, uh, Stefan, yeah, brother Stefan Clematis, which blooms beautiful, light, kind of light purple, light blue blooms. Um, and there's already, I think there's some, yeah, there's already buds on it. Um, so this is great because I've had really good luck wintering over clematis in containers. This is like a zone four through nine. And this is the type that you can cut back in the spring. Um, so there's really, yeah, spring. Uh, you cut it to three feet from the base every spring. So there's really not a whole lot you can do to mess it up. So I'm going to plant that in the center and then try, it's going to take me a little bit to weave the branches around this without breaking them. And then I'm going to go in with Dipped in Wine Coleus, Diamond Frost Euphorbia, and Goldilocks Creeping Jenny. I think that's going to be really pretty. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. This arrangement was kind of inspired from one I saw at Four Star Greenhouse in Michigan, really? except for they had a huge taro, I think. It's like this huge tropical looking plant in the center and I cannot for the life of me get one. Like no matter who I talk to and try to order one from, I cannot get one. So I think the clematis is gonna be really pretty, but it had the taro and then the dipped in wine and diamond frost euphorbia. And I thought it was like the most striking looking arrangement ever. So this is kind of a spin-off from that. I like that a lot. Yeah. All right, that was my last one. It's kind of sad. <laughs> All right, for my last container, I've got three plants. Uh, Coast to Coast Hosta, perennial. Big one. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then a Wildberry Hookra, nice. which also looks really nice. Good contrast. Yeah. Nice choice. Yes. <laughs> and then Diamond Frost Euphorbia, um, which is an annual, but I think it'll kind yeah. of fill in. It'll be pretty. So I have, just, places, just I have places for these in the garden at the end of the season. Really? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Okay, let's get them in. Very last container. What do you think of it? I like it. Do you think it needs more? No. Uh, you do. It's you simple. totally think it needs more. It's simple. I like the colors quite a bit. But so, if it was your container, would you add more? Well, <laughs> look who you're talking to. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I think it'll be great. So all we need to do is move it. This is the very last fence post. You can see all the rest of them are all lined up. Um, so as soon as we get them all placed, I do want to get them watered in because it's been kind of windy. So I want to make sure everything is like settled into their new home. And then we'll do a tour? Yeah. Now that all the pots are planted and placed, I just want to do a really quick walkthrough tour just to show you one more time everything that we just did. So the first container will be the one I planted first and then Aaron and then me and then Aaron and so on. So this is the first tropical looking one. I kind of like how that turned out. I can't believe you used red. I know. 
But notice it's at the very far end. Yeah. <laughs> it's tucked in back here. I like this one. I think this is going to turn out really nicely. Yeah, that's really pretty. I, I don't even mind that it doesn't have a centerpiece, which I actually... Yeah, it's a nice blend. I actually thought it would be a little bit weird, but it's pretty. Mm, I like this one a lot. This really is... Like, I don't know how you've never used that before. I know, the dahlias are amazing. And then, um, well, of course, all the other colors are pretty too. <laughs> this one. This is a loss. This one. You know gonna, what? Maybe it'll be awesome. It, may, it might be just like the best one we have out here. I mean, there's no chance. There's no chance you for that one You don't know that? Lemon coral's pretty amazing. I can't vouch for the scarlet, uh, Toucan Scarlet, because I've not grown that one. This one's also very pretty. Playing it's the very blue salvia. Full right off the bat. Yeah, that's how I like them. This is probably one of my favorites of yours, Erin. One of them. There's another one I really like too. But I like all the colors in this and the use of the nephophia. I don't see you using a lot of these dark sweet potato vines, do you? Not really. Yeah, I like it. I do too. And then it looks like this got jostled in, in route to its spot. We've got the lemon appeal Thumbergia, which will soon be covering that topiary form. And I really like the brightness of this. It looks like really fun. These are really nice. The lantanas. Yeah. I do like those too. And this is another one of my favorites of yours, just because I love Bordeaux so much. And I like the um, cool. potato vine, the bright green of that. Yeah. Next one is mine with the huge lemon slice super bells. I think that'll be a bright, happy one. And this also, I like how this one turned out of yours without the centerpiece, but I think that the angel face will give it kind of a, a feel of having kind of a centerpiece. I don't know. But it'll come out on all sides. Like it won't yeah. be in the center necessarily. What was this one called? Pure something? Mm, I can't remember. And the next one I really like. I like how it turned out. I like the colors. I like the softness of it with the grass and the creeping Jenny. It's just nice. And this next one of yours, Erin, is going to be interesting, how you kind of like planted in blocks. So sweet potato vine, the marguerite daisy, and then the super bells yellow. It's going to be awesome. It will be. These get quite big, don't they? They do. Three yeah. might have been too much. I don't think so. I think it'll be good. Okay. Yeah. I really like this one. This one's mine. I just love, oh, I love the topiary form. And I like how, I don't know, just it's so pretty down here. And there are a ton of blooms on this clematis. So this is going to be a really pretty show. And see, Erin, see that gap right there that you see when you're walking up to it? Does like, that just kill you? I, I kind of want to leave it now just because I know that it kills you. <laughs> and I can't. It's your pot, so you have to do what you want with it. You just do what you want. Okay. It's fine. So there you have it. That was fun. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll be giving you lots of progress shots as the season progresses um, because a lot of these will change quite dramatically from now until like even a month from now, they'll look way different. So anyway, be watching for those and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.